good morning everybody and welcome back to another video my name is Visha and in today's video I was asked to do a what we do in a um like what we do in the day for homeschooling so right now it's 707 um I personally been up since 5 30 Nevaeh just got up not too long ago um, she just got up at 7, so what I'm about to do is let's go ahead and go downstairs. Um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and go downstairs. Oh, this is better lighting. But what she does when she gets up in the morning, because I have to get up, I have to take out the dog. She's about to um, brush her teeth and wash her face, say good morning to the camera. Good morning. And then... She, I don't know y'all, but she made up her bed. She's going to open up her, um, she's going to open up her curtains. I don't know why that's in here, but yeah, so she made up her bed. As some of you guys know, we used to have a headboard there, but since we are moving, we actually got rid of it. So I'm going to go ahead and cook breakfast for her. Hopefully, ooh, that's like the perfect, the perfect spot. So we're gonna go ahead and cook breakfast for her. So we're gonna do oatmeal. Oatmeal. Um, I'm gonna eat as well, but I'm not gonna eat until we come back. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and make me some tea. So let me get my tea out. One thing that I will say is that if you're homeschooling, um, you want to, to be honest, you want to be up before your kids get up. Um, only because it's like you're I don't know the day just goes smoother if she is up before me it's like I'm rushing um, if that makes sense but since I'm up before her I'm looking to see what she's doing no one's doing but since I'm up before her um, I'm not rushing if that makes sense so, This is how Nevaeh is greeted by Nova. Seriously. <laughs> All right. Huh? Yeah, she like giving hugs. No, Nova. No bite. No, 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 no. Yeah, Nova is about bigger than her. Do y'all remember when we got her? I answered a picture um, when we got her. We got her in April. We got her in April, right? Nova, no bite. Nova, Nova, Nova. Look at me. Look at me, Nova. Nova. Watch. Good girl. Nova. Place. Down. Down. Good girl. Now stay. Stay. Thank you. Good girl. <laughs> so I'm just, our tea is here. So what I like to do in the morning for tea, and of course Nova just went and got back, wow. So what I do in the morning for tea, I do um, chai tea. So the pumpkin spice chai tea, I'll show you guys that again. I do the pumpkin spice chai tea with, um, a splash of oat milk, okay? Brown sugar, my favorite. You did brown sugar? Uh huh. Get, look inside the bowl, Nevada. No, look inside the bowl. So Nevaeh will eat her oatmeal, um, and then that's it. I got some stuff in the dryer. Oh, uh, once she's done eating her oatmeal, when she gets done eating her oatmeal, it should be about in a couple minutes because it's just oatmeal, 
and she can, she's gonna have her fruit. We're going on a walk at um, eight o'clock. So we're gonna walk in like 30 minutes. After we come back from the walk, um, then she could do her morning work, like her morning things. And morning things is writing in her journal, playing with um, her Legos, whatever else she has to do. Nova, quiet. Whatever else thing she has to do. You already wrote in your journal so this is her journal nothing on it I'm not gonna tell you guys like show you really what's in there that's her personal journal that she has to write in every day and she just comes in here she plays with her Legos is any one of you guys kids like color coordinate things because she literally <laughs> plays with the colors of the Legos to be honest um I don't know if that's like a OCD type of thing but like yesterday she did black and white a day before that like she did pink like she don't she does not mix the colors so now what I'm gonna do I just want to be as realistic with you guys as possible because things pop up you don't know I meant to go in the office things pop up and you don't know so I'm gonna put my camera right here guys my office is a mess like it really is this is where my husband keeps like all his things in here too so and he's gone I, I really do have to clean it up but what I'm gonna do is just you know see me sit right here and write down what she is going to do for the day if I can find my pen. You see my pen? So today, she has language arts, writing, and art. Which art um, is usually, she can like just color in her coloring book or she can paint something. I might, cause I do have a project that needs to be done so I'm gonna have her paint. Um, she's gonna paint three pumpkins for me. So yeah, and that'd be like one of her projects. Okay, guys. So now she'll do her language arts. Um, she'll do her language arts. She knows. You guys see my mess in here? Please don't judge me. It is gonna get cleaned up. Um, I'm gonna clean it up. So. We were working on possessive nouns last week. So she's still working on possessive nouns in her other grammar book. So I like the complete curriculum so far for writing. I do not like the complete, I mean, I like the complete curriculum so far for writing. I do not like the scholistics for writing um, as of right now. The scholistics for writing is honestly, I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, to me, it is honestly your reading and then your writing. So it's like, it's more of a comprehension. It's not more of a writing. I like having her to write because with me having her to write, she under, not understand, but it gets her better. Um, it gets her better at writing. So right now she's doing a possessive. Um, she's starting on her possessive nouns. Like I said, we did it last week in her other book in the complete curriculum she's finishing it off in scholistics i do like that about the complete curriculum and the scholistics whatever subject that we're learning right now in language arts it is in both books so instead of me finishing like nouns in one week or any um grammar in like the first week the subject like nouns adjectives verbs and whatever else I can get two to three weeks out of learning still on that same subject so i want her to get the work 
What's what you doing? Looking for a pot. Huh? Looking for a possible pronoun. Where it says possessive noun? Yeah. Is a pronoun that shows ownership or belonging. Belonging. So that's mine's. That's his. That's hers. But you can go ahead and look it up. And again, I like the fact that she can go back to. So this is the scholastics. And she can go back to her. Her complete curriculum book. She can go back to her complete curriculum book because now I will say this, the complete curriculum book is better at, let me show you. So, so I just want to give you guys an example. It's better at giving you an example, like showing you the example of, um, like what it is i told her to redo it and god she did go back and redo it so it is it is better at like telling you what it is okay so that's just something that i really love about the co complete curriculum book um this is the scholastics book it doesn't tell you it just gives you a definition you have to go off your own understanding okay but then down here it has like these so you kind of get it, you kind of don't. It just all depends. So right now, we're going to work on language arts. Oh my God, y'all. So right now, we're going to work on language arts. And then after we're done um, with language arts, she's gonna go to writing. Never had pretty much no writing. Like I said, we've been doing writing. Don't worry about that. That's all my cricket stuff that I need to clean. So let me um, let her do her thing and we'll go from there. So guys, um, what I'm just doing right now is Neve is just doing her schoolwork. Um, I'm just sitting there looking at her basically. Um, if she asks me for help, then I would help her. If not, then I won't. I always try to, at least with doing her schoolwork, give her two or three examples and then from there she is on her own. Um, and I like for her to work very independently. So that's what we're doing right here. It's just me just sitting here working with her and then she will start doing schoolwork on her own. Paige, she did, she actually flew past that, which is really, really good. Let me, as you can see, we've been working on possessive nouns because when I looked at her other papers since the 14th of September and today is actually the 28th. What you put? Seven. Mother and daughter day. Mother and daughter. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So she's gonna, right now, she's gonna go ahead and finish um, doing what she has to do. I like for it's in the vet to work independently because if we were in school, she was in physical school, she'll be working independently um, right now. Um, I have nothing to grade for her because everything that needs to be graded is in the book. So I like to wait until like the end of the week and I'll go grade or I would do like, yeah, the, and I'm, I would say I give it like two weeks. Like if we're working on the same thing, um, like right now, we've been working on possessive now for two weeks. As you can saw that first week, I graded it. I was sitting right there. So that's why I just went ahead and I graded it and I put it like redo, yada, yada, yada. But yeah, so take your time with your kids is not a rush. I don't know how many times I would emphasize that, but it is seriously um, not a rush. Do not rush your kids to come. All right, guys. So she just came in the room. Uh, she told me she was done with language arts. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and, Neve, you can take five. Go take five. So I'm gonna go ahead and let her take, um, I'll sit in her chair so you guys can see me. So I'm gonna go ahead and let her take a five minute break. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and grade her schoolwork. So yeah. And like I said, you guys, this is not a rush. Do not rush your kids. Um, this just, 
short. Do not rush your kids to do their schoolwork. Like, we seriously just got up here. She was done with that and like literally, um, we started at 8.49. It's right now, it's 9.11, so not even 30 minutes. So don't rush your kids to do an assignment. Take your time. They're homeschooling. Y'all in the house. Where you going? What you doing? I'm just playing. <laughs> Seriously, all my pins are missing. Seriously, so I'm just gonna go to the back of the book. I didn't take this. Oops, so. If you could read my lips. still go by the um the grading scale that you use in school so like i said she is done with um can you put this back shit it is the wrong side i did it again okay so now she is done with possessive nouns on this week thursday she will test out of possessive nouns oh and i want you to study last week's spelling words with this week's spelling words because you're gonna take all of that on friday i didn't forget about the test okay so on thursday she will test out of the possessive nouns and then we're like i said we're gonna move over to adjectives so now what i'm gonna have her do is do writing we're just gonna do writing um and I have, I just want to show you guys. So I have these little post stickies that make it easier for her to know how to flip through it. I didn't do it for the Scholistics one yet because it's kind of everywhere. And that book is not like organized, if that makes sense. This is organized. The complete curriculum is organized. I'm kind of going towards the cur complete curriculum. I honestly, I really, really like it. Um better than the scholastics so now we're gonna have to write a paragraph and writing this paragraph you have to put the steps in order um so you have to put the steps in order so read the paragraph rewrite it put in the steps in the correct order and then you need to answer the following questions okay so you're going to read the paragraph put the steps in order i guess how to make homemade peanut butter and then, um, okay, so put this, uh, put the steps in order. It's telling you how to make peanut butter, but you're going to rewrite it in your own way of how to make it. Okay. And then it's going to ask, what is the topic sentence of the paragraph? So what is the topic sentence? And then, uh, what information does the last sentence give? Okay. okay. All right. And like, yeah, what information does the last sentence give? Just paraphrase the last sentence if, to make sense. And then it's analyzing a how-to paragraph. How-to paragraphs has a topic sentence that tells you what the audience will learn to do, tells what the materials are needed, and describes the steps in order. So analyzing the paragraph, okay? So with this one, it says read the paragraph and they answer the question. So you're going to read it. You're going to answer the questions. I want complete sentences. I do not want one word sentences in the van. I don't work. Well, oh, why did you like the story? Because I like the story. No. Details. Y'all, she would do that. So, you're going to do this and this. And then when you're done, we'll take another break. So, I'll get her get breaks in between. So... Go ahead and do this, write it in order. I'll come back and I'll check it, okay? 
All right, go ahead and finish. So she's gonna start and then I'll come back. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling so y'all can get some footage of her. Do not drop my camera. nothing for me I'm fine but you can finish it I'm, I'm fine <laughs> okay guys so we are back home I went to get us Burger King and I had to go to the commissary today. Um, I, while she was at doing her schoolwork, I finished doing everything. And for Nevea, for lunch, since we were out and about, I just was like, let's just go ahead and go get Burger King. Um, since we were out and about today. But Nova's going to cry. So I just want to, um, Nova, please stop. I'm trying to figure out where can I do my outro without her crying. But this is real life, you guys. This is honestly real life. Let me say it outside. I'll do it outside. So, um, I'm going to do it outside. I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video. Um, Y'all, even this, I'm like this. But anyways, I do want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video. Um, if you want to see a nighttime routine that we do, a morning routine that we do, you want to see anything individual, just go ahead and leave the comment down below. And thank you so much for, for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys. Bye.